Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again and welcome to something a little bit special today. Over the past few days or over last, the last week or so, we've been uh, kind of speculating as to what the potential might be for some of the players on FIFA 15. Now over the past couple of days, EA themselves actually released an article on their website that you can see on the screen now that actually details a certain few players, the top players, for potential for FIFA 15. For FIFA 15, so these are official figures for players in career mode for FIFA 15. So if you want to pause the video at any point to have a look at the full list, uh, you know, without me blabbering on behind it, then uh, feel free to do so to have a closer look, or equally just let the video play and we'll have a look through. Of course, as you can see, there is a hidden gems list as well. I'll have that video coming out later on tonight. You'll be seeing this on Monday tomorrow. FIFA 15 career mode and FIFA 15 my player will be starting on the channel. The Chelsea career mode and the my player return tomorrow full fifa 15 full game full series is a go really really excited to uh, to bring that to you but anyway let's crack on with this shall we of course if you're, you're interested in career mode and you know people that would be interested in a this uh, this particular uh, article or just this video in general that is me showing you them then of course feel free to uh, to tell people about it so they can come and see for themselves i'll leave a link to the article in the description as well if you want to have a look yourself but uh, let's start off at the top we might as well paul pogba apparently is the player that has the best potential for a uh, career mode as you can see 20 21 years of age 83 to 89 not a big growth but of course he has had an improvement from his FIFA 14 card initially in the first place there are a couple of players near the top here that I don't really know too much about the first of which is Telemons from Anderlecht uh, Centimeter who's only 17 years old but apparently has a potential of 88 we looked at Laporte and uh, Memphis Depay in uh, the potential stars series which was up last week both of which have a potentials of 88 Raphael Varane is a player we signed on the Chelsea career mode last season and uh, he got quite close to 88 I think he got to 87 he may even have reached 88 by the time we finished that third year. Uh, Eterbe is a player that you guys wanted me to look at for the potential series. I didn't get around to doing it, but as you can see, he has a massive growth span as well from 77 to 88. Full 11 uh, positive marks there. Maximilian Mayer we looked at, and he's been classified as 87, so 12 growth for him. Markovic is a player that I didn't look at, but clearly, as you can see, one of the uh, the best potentials in the Premier League. Yanazai obviously is going to grow well up, 12 for him. Then you get players from Serie A, like uh, Stefano Sarawi, uh, Domenico Berardi, who had a very, very good year for Sassuolo last year, and is no surprise that he has a growth of uh, 13 this year. And then uh, Simone Scaffe, or Scaffet, I don't know who that is, and uh, I'll be honest, I'm not going to try and speculate as to what uh, he could actually get up to but according to EA he has a potential of 16 growth which is absolutely ridiculous but not as big as uh, Zivkovic from uh, from Ajax a striker 17 years old currently 69 rated potential to go up to 86 so it's huge some huge growth here from some of these players we'll scroll down a little bit as you can see Alex Oxlade Chamberlain's got some decent growth another giant growth from the Bundesliga is Julian Brandt as you can see left wing 70 rated starting 86 is his potential Lucas Piazza we looked at for the potential stars he's got a growth of 86 uh, Ross Barkley 86 also same with Romelu Lukaku and uh, Alan Halilovic perhaps Halilovic I'm not really too sure how to pronounce that Croatian uh, centre mid 65 to 86 huge growth of 21 I think that is the highest on the entire list to be completely honest uh, one uh, Fernando Quintero is obviously a very good cam actually uh, 78 base card up to 86 Draxler unfortunately moved to a left mid this year but uh, still a lot of players growing to around about the 86 mark, as you can see here. Uh, Icardi we looked at yesterday, not yesterday, we looked at on Friday in the, in the potential stars. Uh, Kovacic is another player that uh, could do very, very well for Inter Milan in real life. Raheem Sterling obviously is going to grow. I think he'll get higher than 86 as well, personally. Same with Luke Shaw. He's got growth of 11, could quite possibly eclipse that, and Mattia De Cilio as well. Uh, a couple of other players you might want to see, Marquinhos and uh, Marco Verratti, a couple of PSG players there, both again, 86 rated. Bernard, the five-star skiller, at least I think he's still five-star this year. I'm not sure, you'll have to check. Uh, you'll have to check. I can't be uh, entirely too sure on that one, to be completely honest. Uh, other players of particular interest, perhaps Munain from uh, from Bilbao, a very, very good youngster, has been uh, highly rated in Spain for years. Matthias Ginter is a fresh transfer to Borussia Dortmund. We signed him in the Dortmund career mode last year and he grew quite well for us potential of 85 so a good youngster there Oliver Torres is much hyped about in uh, in Spain and uh, I think on loan at Porto from Atletico Madrid uh, potential of 85 a growth of 11 Leon Goretzka is a player I don't know anything about but again another big growth uh, span spotted for uh, for him 
uh, the same again for uh, Zakal, uh, Zakaria Bakali, uh, the player that we looked at in one of the opening episodes of uh, of the Potential Star series. Uh, Fred from uh, Shakhtar Donetsk has got a good uh, potential as well, 85 up from 73. Uh, a couple of youngsters as well from England here, or one youngster from England rather, James Ward-Prowse from Southampton. I really rate him in real life and uh, hopefully he can progress like that in a career mode because he's perhaps someone I might look to buy throughout, uh, not necessarily the Chelsea career mode, but throughout some of the career modes that we will be doing over the next 12 months or so. Timo Werner is another player that's extremely highly rated in Germany. A friend of mine, Will Zeffel, who follows the Bundesliga closely, really rates him. Same with Junior Melander as well. And uh, Luciano Vieto is a player that was uh, suggested a lot for FIFA 14 career modes. And as you can see, now at Villarreal and potential of 85 on him from 74. So there's plenty of youngsters in there that uh, could perhaps catch your eye. The sort of figures you'll have to pay for these players, I'm not too sure. It's a case of trying to bargaining uh, with the, the you know the the host clubs in your own particular career mode. But that's going to round this video up. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe for FIFA 15 content, whether it's career mode or ultimate team. We'll have uh, FIFA 15 Chelsea career mode and FIFA 15 my player tomorrow. As I've said, we'll have the hidden gems. We'll have a look at the hidden gems in tonight's video. So you will have a second video from me today. But that's all for this afternoon. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.